Hello and uh, welcome to another video from PyPad Mathematics. I am Professor Lamb and today we're going to be working with an app from Braining Camp. It is uh, a pattern block app and the pattern block app is very good for early number concepts. It can be done for I guess classification, patterns, it can help students understand conservation of number but one of its biggest attributes or usages, if you will, is the fact that it can model fractions. And so this video is going to talk a little bit about pattern blocks themselves and how we can use them to model fractions. Now, this app uh, I already have in the settings. I've changed the settings over to no grid in the background and opaque for the shapes and that they're snapping at the corners. And this helps kind of build some of the ideas that are in this I guess in this activity so we have pattern blocks and we can start with our basic we have our triangle we have our blue parallelogram we have our red trapezoid and we have our yellow hexagon so using these four pattern blocks we can help model fractions and it all fractions everything that you do with fractions is um, I guess when you're understanding the concept behind fractions, you have to define the whole. It is so important that you define the whole. And if we say that the yellow hexagon is our whole, then we can give or we can tell what numbers or what values the other pieces have. So if our, if our whole is 1, or if our yellow hexagon is the whole of 1, then we need to figure out what fraction is the trapezoid, what fraction is the parallelogram, and what fraction is the green triangle? Well, we do that by seeing how these shapes relate to each other. When I put a green triangle on top of the hexagon, it makes up a part of that area, a part of that whole. And then I can bring another green triangle into the mix, and I want to rotate it so that it clicks in nicely and I bring a third one in and it clicks in nicely I bring another one in and it clicks in nicely I bring a fourth fifth one in and we rotate it around until it clicks in nicely and then we take the last one and rotate it in until it clicks in nicely and we notice that it takes six green triangles to make up the whole therefore one of these green triangles is going to be equal to one-sixth of the whole. So one-sixth of the whole. Well, this is very important for students to understand to see, let me take that pen off, to see the whole and how one relates to that whole. So if I were to take all these other pieces off, I would notice that one green triangle is one-sixth of the whole because I can put six green triangles that make up the whole. What about the blue parallelogram? Well, if you notice, I have another hexagon over here. It kind of came in when we were uh, when we were working. So if I were trying to do, let me erase that. There we go. We have a blue parallelogram. It snaps in very nicely right there. This one snaps in, but I need to rotate it because we are seeing how many blue parallelograms fit into the whole which is the yellow hexagon and it, it takes three so I have one two three blue parallelograms that make up the whole and if it takes three to make up the whole then one is going to be one-third and now I will take this off erase that that's a third bring that back down click these in and then the last bit we will do with our red trapezoid so we have our red trapezoid and we notice that it takes two of these to make up the whole so therefore if two makes up the whole that becomes our denominator that's how many parts make up the whole and therefore one trapezoid is going to be one half of the uh, whole which is the uh, hexagon so I'm going to now move over a little bit uh, undo that or move over here 
shrink. Yay, there we all are. And we'll take these. I'm going to trash them. It's got a nice little clicking sound to it. <laughs> I'm going to clear all to save time. And I'm going to erase all. Press and hold that down and clear all the writing up. I'll zoom in a little bit. So bring my yellow hexagon back out. And what if we make the red trapezoid equal to 1? Equals 1. So if the red trapezoid equals 1, then we need to figure out what does the yellow hexagon equal, what does the blue parallelogram equal, and what does the green triangle equal. And when we do that, we see how many, like if this is 1, then we notice that 2 fit into the yellow hexagon, so the yellow hexagon equals 2. Well, we notice if the red trapezoid is 1, then the blue parallelogram does not fit entirely over it. And I can't create another blue parallelogram that's going to equal exactly the size of our uh, red trapezoid. So we're going to need to figure out what this part is before we can figure out what the blue parallelogram is. And by doing that, we notice that three triangles make up the whole. So therefore, one green triangle is going to equal one third. And if that's true, then the blue parallelogram, it takes two green triangles to make up the blue parallelogram. So one parallelogram is going to be equal to two thirds. Two thirds. So uh, pattern blocks, these uh, manipulatives help model basic fractions. And it's all about defining the whole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear all. And I'm going to do another example to where, and I like this app because it gives you different holes. If this equals 1, then I need to find out what this shape equals. And if that's the case, we need to figure out how many of these shapes fit into our hole. Well, we got two of them for sure, so we know it's going to have two holes. And then we need to figure these pieces out. If you notice, that piece there is a blue parallelogram, what's left over. So it takes two of those blue parallelograms to fit up what's to fit in what is remaining of our hole. And we take this blue parallelogram and we notice that it makes up half of our black shape. The blue parallelogram makes up half of it. So if you notice, if the red here, the pink is one, then this goes in there one two and because it took two more parallelograms that would equal one more of the black ones so therefore three of these black shapes fit into our pink shape therefore one is going to be one third of our whole and you can have students make all kind of different holes and find out what fractions those are fractional parts of those holes the different shapes are uh, it's very exciting. You can use this app to help model as the students explore at their desks. And, uh, it's you know, the opportunities are endless. So uh, thank you for watching. Again, this is PyPad Mathematics, and I am Professor Lamb.